Let's go. Oh, are they gonna play the on good stages? On it? Or is this on it? No, yeah. this is. Yeah, this is. No, I thought on it was a big one. Uh, no, that's Mute City. Or not Mute City. The other. City. What's? I'm thinking of another. What's the? Yeah, this is on. I don't know. Oh, oh no. Uh, I'm thinking of the tree. Uh, the one that West Walls always does. The, 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 oh yeah, yeah. That's. Um, that is on it. Yeah, this Maybe one's. Um, the one everyone does the wall jumps on. <laughs> the UFO. Why don't they play on Corneria? I want to see Corneria. Play on Corneria. Squid's movement looks so sick on the UFO. <laughs> I'm losing it. Oh god, dude, look at the moonwalks. You can do like free moonwalks on this. Or not moonwalks, stinky walks, sorry. Moonwalks would be actually really hard on that. Because <laughs> you have no momentum. <laughs> okay, so uh, winner's side was a 3 0 by face roll. Yeah. They did start on Yoshi's there as well. Okay. Let's see if Squid can uh, turn things around. Ooh, that was almost that drop through shenanigans, but neutral yeah, start will yeah. save it, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I feel like maybe Squid jumped the gun there a little bit, but hey, I won't say anything. I didn't see. Anything. I feel like he might have shot a laser. I've never seen a laser do anything wrong early, but hey, <laughs> these guys are friends. I think it's all right. Oh, Squid, you're crazy. Why would you go for that? I mean, it worked, but <laughs> the fear was instilled, my friend. Oh man. Griffin had no idea what it was gonna do. I don't think Squid did either, but it worked out. Uh, so I thought that choice there, that second shine, was really interesting. Personally, I would have been looking for an up tilt there because I always feel like Sheik's like a little too high. Mm -hmm. But Squid really knowing his uh, combo game really effectively and knows when uh, Sheik's going to be low enough that he can go for the shine instead. Right, right. Ooh, he gets the nice. second air. Squid is up two stocks real quick. <laughs> it's, it's the Don't looking tell anybody. I'm, I'm trying to keep it quiet, dog, but there's a lot of people here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's Ooh. definitely a big contrast to the last set these guys played. Squid off to a very, very strong start. Squid gets a roll shine. Uh, if there's anything that tilts Griffin in this game, it's how ridiculous roll shine it is. So let's see if you can handle Spot dot shine, roll shine. Yeah. Falco's busted. Well, oh my god. So wow. that Did he, was really like, drift on Randall to, like... I don't know. I think... I feel like he, like... I don't Barely ledge canceled it and then like yeah. grab maybe I don't know that's one for the that's one for the tapes that looked funny um, and, and definitely it, it tripped up face roll he thought that Squid was gonna land on Randall so he went to punish it and somehow Squid teleported to the ledge and yeah. get hit by the fair um, that said the face roll was able to clean up the stock Squid uses his shine stall really effectively waiting for face roll's uh, hitbox to come out and then goes for the dare wow. which he's able to combo out. And yeah. he finally gets the suicide dare he's been looking finally. for for two sets. <laughs> Literally three games in two sets. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, definitely a lot stronger start for Squid here. Uh, I, I think it really comes down to just cleaning up that combo game, not giving mm. face roll the opening to turn things around. Let's see if he can find it again. For sure. So Squid still uh, in losers, by the way. Going to have to win this set and another one if he wants to win this game. Squid, or face roll. Only have to win three. Only has to win three, rather. There you go. That's that's what we're going to do. Squid gets the... Uh, so so one of the things that Sheiks do a lot is they'll do this uh, aerial needle into instant grab. Yeah. It's not... In certain scenarios, it's like basically guaranteed if they the needle hit the shield. But in a lot of cases, it's just really like fast and tricky. Um, Squid, in that case, recognizes that's what uh, face roll is going for, and he's able to get the spot dodge shine off of it. Yeah, there was, I'm thinking of a Sheik that does it a lot, and I don't think it's shroomed. I'm not sure who I saw doing it a lot, but I digress. The the one I know who does it a lot is uh, Tenshi, who was here last week. Um, he, he really likes to use his needles. He, he mixes it up. He'll do needle dash grab, or he'll do, like, needle uh, jump again, aerial again. Okay. Um, and so he that's, like, really tricky and fast. Um, ooh, ooh Face right. was able to steal the ledge there, and he's able to take the first stock. Squid's got, ooh, nice. Oh, just walks up and does it. Dang, Dang son. Oh. Ooh, the spot dodge. Yeah, that was buffered, too. He knew. He gets the get up shine. He teched uh, on the wall. Excuse me. It's not a, not very often that you see Griffin uh, let someone do that uh, get up shine. Usually, he gets the hit off. But in that case, he wasn't quite fast enough. Oh, this wow. is the turn around. Oh, okay. I'm not sure how that Nair didn't do more. Squid misses his combo. Looks like we're going to see one of those classic Griffin uh, moments. But instead, Squid's able to get a shield up in time, and Face Roll is able to get out of it. Nice Nair by Squid in order to take the stock. Face Roll down, basically a full stock. Let's see what he can do. Yeah, but would, Squid's out of uh, crouch cancel range, so this, as, this actually is a big deal. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if I 
you see, oh wow, you actually power shield that one. I wouldn't be surprised if I saw Squid going for less laser grabs because he's gotten countered tw two times in a row on that now. Mm -hmm. He just shields the laser and spot or po buffer spot dodge and gets mm -hmm. out of it. But yeah, uh, one of the things that's really cool about uh, laser grab is if you do it where you don't have to dash. It is a, a true combo on yeah. hit, mm -hmm. um, but it's not on shield. So you have to be super careful. You have to know not only that you're going to hit them, but that it's not on shield. It's an actual hit. Right. And if you do have to dash, that totally goes away, and they can punish it at any time. So you have to not only get the spacing just right, but also figure out whether or not it's going to hit their shield. Um, so it can be pretty tricky. Yeah. Ooh, oh using gosh. the lowest platform of FOD uh, to his advantage there, uh, face roll does the nair on the platform, lands on the platform, but still hits squid, uh, who's the stupid feathers on the back of his head are sticking out. <laughs> yeah. That's so dumb that it's actually part of the tape box. Um, Ooh, you know, nice back air. Yeah. I wouldn't uh, be surprised if I saw Squid mixing up more aerials after the lasers. Mm -hmm. Just because, uh, you know, that's obviously one of the mix-ups. Nice. You don't want to keep it one-dimensional the whole time. Oh, uh, that's the Falco feels right there. Yeah, let's see if Squid can clean it up and, and take this game as well. Uh, it'd be a real big advantage. Nice. Oh, yeah, that's gonna probably do it. Back air here. Oh, wow. See, there he was worried about the Omps attack, so he goes for that Shine follow-up instead. Shine obviously can't be Omps attack, yeah. because you go basically straight up. Um, but in that case, it didn't work out in his favor. Let's see. Oh, no, this is the Gimp. Oh, he goes for okay. the back air immediately, and he gets face roll off of him. Nice. And he goes for the Shine wow. style back air, and he's able to take the game. That was That nice. was very close. Uh, I was going to say at the end there, he yeah. uh, face roll was at... Uh, down tilt percent, so that was another mix-up you could have done after the laser as well, so maybe that's something else we'll see. But yeah, good stuff to Squid, man, finding that really, really sort of delayed shine back air yeah. at the end there. and Finally takes a game. So, uh, Face Roll now getting to play on the third stage that uh, Sheik's like in this matchup. Yeah. Uh, Yoshi's found a dream and this are kind of their, their three favorites. Um, with FD being sort of not great. Yeah, oh, I guess Battlefield's also like very close to even. Yeah, I, I, I yeah, I would say it's more even than than like yeah. preferred. I would say yeah. yeah. You kind so of put some sheets do really love it, but yeah. for the most part, it's considered like relatively even. Um, Reno Field, man. Yeah. Uh, the big one in Falco's favor is definitely FD. Yeah. Uh, without any platforms, she kind of loses a lot of her options. The um, laser game becomes so much stronger too. Yeah. I mean, not only in general, but uh, in that matchup, mm -hmm. there's not a lot of she can do, and uh, just you know, we've we've talked, we touched on that a few times today. Just the how linear uh, Falco's combos can get, and how how easy it is to capitalize so hard off an opening. Exactly. Ooh, oh, what an arms attack! This guy's ridiculous. Man, he had no space. Yeah, he's you, on the ledge already. He literally went nowhere too. That's nuts. I'll throw a little too high percent. Can't get anything off of it. Except for some position, like we said earlier. Face roll mashing like if he just got grabbed by army. But <laughs> at 166%, it doesn't matter. Squid's able to find the first stock. Nice. Squid's got a little bit of a percent deficit to make it out of. <laughs> yeah, just a bit. Let's see. Ooh. Somehow that forward tilt doesn't hit. Whiffs just the beak. <laughs> why did he go for down smash there? And more importantly, why did it work? He gets the back air. He's moving, but uh, I don't know. He, he just didn't get the next hitbox out after the dare fast enough. And he gets uh, kind of mashed by that down smash. Yeah, it's uh, oh, this is probably actually. Oh, I thought he would back throw, but yeah, so actually doesn't, doesn't matter. <laughs> I, I thought that was like a really clever option by Facial. He does the jabs um, to let the tree wispy push him all the way to the ah, corner. Ah, okay. Um, so that's what he was waiting for, and then I. I think what he did, what he knew is he was baiting Squid to think the same thing you thought is, ah. I've got all the way to the right, 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 yeah, obviously yeah. I'm going to back throw. And Squid does the like worst possible DI for getting comboed after the after the fourth. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. Again, the layers becoming a factor here. Where these guys play each other so much. Uh, Squid, I think, wanted to shine out a shield there. Instead, uh, got the spot dodge, which Face Roll was able to grab. He gets the shine off in there. Oh, the backer wasn't a hard one. Oh, wow, Griffin really did that. Lethal. He's just dead. He's actually dead. Oh, oh, he's so he lucky. lucky. He's so lucky. Oh, my God. <laughs> down tilt. He goes for the down smash, and Face Roll actually misses wow. the arms attack. That's the first time we've seen that the entire game, the entire two sets they've yeah, played. Yeah, yeah. That's such high consistency with the arms attacking. To, to think that we would expect him to do it more right. than not. Right, yeah, yeah. Uh, really good stuff to face When it becomes odd that he doesn't, it's it's a, it's definitely a, a change of pace that we're used yeah. to. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, at the end there, Squid might have been going for that down tilt and just got a down smash on accident and it worked out, but... Yeah, definitely at those percent. Well, it is uh, Dreamland, so you know, the highest top. I think it would have still killed, but... I think it's 120 on Dreamland. Oh, gosh. So I'm pretty sure. That's, uh, that's 
two SD ishes that you can't really call them SDs because you know they weren't the cleanest stocks for yeah. sure. Yeah. Um, so let's see if Squid can clean it up a little bit here on FD and uh, take set one. Gets a shine. Well, he'll have to win two more games. Oh, so you said face roll. I'm sorry, I totally misheard you. Ooh. Oh, wow, oh, I barely. Really that shine was gonna hit. Yeah, that ledge just snapped to it in time. Whew, the power of its ability, man. Oh, Ooh. he's able to spot dodge <laughs> out of that grab. That was out of a movie, dude. <laughs> Get over here. He's like, nah, dog. Gets that super late back air. Uh, face roll not able to Tom's attack that time around. And this is going to cost him a stock. Squid Jeez. double spot, spot dodge. dodge. Yeah. He gets nice. the grab. I really like that option to dare off the grab. It's not a combo or anything, what, like it can be in some uh, matchups for Fox, but yeah, it's, it's still really strong. Yeah, it's a hard mix-up for sure. Uh, ooh, he, ooh, dash like, dances right around that F tilt. You know, and we are seeing we are seeing um, some some mix-ups now after the lasers. The laser gets in, and then he's doing some aerials, maybe some grabs, maybe some uh, nothing. You know. Ooh, he gets the shine. Uh, that shine when you're directly under Sheik is really really powerful. Uh, especially when you're at low percents because, so first of all, she doesn't have any like particularly good hitboxes below her. The only one is Darren that takes forever to come yeah. out. The second thing, though, is uh, let's say you're holding down, you're waiting to be, you're waiting to be, you're waiting to be. You screw up and you get hit, you just crouch cancel and you just shine anyway. Yeah, cares? yeah. So if you can find your way directly under a Sheik, especially when you're at low percents, but really just in general, it's super strong. Mm -hmm. Uh, face roll, last time uh, we talked about the matchup, he said that that was like his biggest problem was that he was letting Squid get under him too much because uh, uh, he like was trying to full wow. hop over lasers. Yeah. Um, and you, you'll notice that this was actually the first time the set we saw that happen. Face roll decides he just wants to go to set two. Um, but yeah, so that was actually the first time this That's game five, time. though. That was game four. Right, but it's 2-1 face roll. No, no, no. Squid won, Yoshi's, and oh, the, then the first score game was wrong. of... The score was totally wrong. Yeah, see? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the reset, right? They just fist bumped and everything. Was it? I don't know. We're going to find out soon enough. Game possibly five or one slash one of Yo I mean, it is Yoshi, so I'm going to assume this is game one. Yeah. Anyway, we'll find out soon enough, I suppose. I don't, I don't. Yeah, yeah, he won Yoshi's and FOD. Squid won Yoshi's and FOD and then won okay. game four. That makes sense. FD. So, definitely second set here, loser set for both these guys. Yoshi Story, first pick once again. Now, last set uh, in, in winner's side, uh, Squid was able to take this in relatively convincing fashion mm -hmm. um, by keeping his combo super clean, not giving uh, face roll any opportunities to counterattack. Um, let's see if he can do that again. Yeah, second, to, second go around might be a little bit different. Wow, Ooh, great angle. Great angle. Uh, face roll looking for the needles there, but Squid at just the right like mm -hmm. height that he can't get hit by that. And Squid's so gonna take the first stock. Someone was angry at something. <laughs> Ooh! Wow, oh, Squid what goes a the short and is able to get around face roll. Uh, face oh. roll's using the down smash there to try to cover that edge for as long as possible. Yeah. But because Squid went for the very short short in, the one where you like have to grab as far as you can to yeah, get the fingertip the ledge, one. He sure. uh, he was able to avoid getting hit by the down smash anyway. He goes for the triple shine. The third one isn't grounded, but it's able to work out in his favor anyway. Oh, oh. I think he could have gone for a dare there. I think he wanted to be safe and just get the edge up. guard, but oh, oh, you're right. Gets grabbed. Maybe just didn't want to risk getting traded right there. Now, last set towards the end, we did see face roll miss uh, two tech chases. So being able to clean it up here and really capitalize on those tech chases is really important. It's so funny when we freak out that he missed two. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh my god, what? He serious? gets the dare. Squid Ooh, Ooh, tries to do really something at a shield. He goes for yeah. the needles and then immediately cancels into the F tilt. Um, Squid gets caught uh, swinging there. Yeah, trying to do something out of shield. Let's when see if Squid be. can clean it up real quick. That's Guess the dare, yeah. and the back is going to be an easy kill. Uh, Recognized, yeah. The high percent didn't need to dare. Just had to get him off the side. Reverse backer will do it. Two stocks each here. Game one of winner set. Super even. More even than the last set. For sure. Oh, wow. For, oh, wow. Nice grab. Again. Spot dodge. Both these guys are so aware of their grab timings. Down tilt. Oof. Down tilt's pretty dangerous, especially at these super low percents. Yes, yeah. um, it's definitely something you don't want to throw out willy nilly. Ooh, he reads them and he gets the F smash, but Griffin, again, just so ready. He gets the OMS attack and he's able to grab the ledge. Uh, he's back in a tech chase. Ooh, Face roll tech. chooses to end the uh, tech chase a little bit early with a dash attack that he's able to follow up with there on the side platform. Um, but Squid's able to make it back to stage, and now we're at two stocks apiece at high percents, both characters. One person needs to clean this up and then stay alive for a good. Ooh, what a read on the roll. Yeah. He gets the up smash in the up air. Now, if Griffin can clean this up and take uh, a good amount of percent, he's going to be feeling real good about last stock. 
That was so scary. <laughs> Griffin just gets out of the he shield drop range, yeah. So now Griffin's in that really awkward, yeah, good stuff. Reverse Nair, man. I didn't think he would do that, but it works yeah. out. Uh, I wonder how that uh, works with ops attacking. I, I assume it can still be ops attack, but I don't actually know. Actually, Ooh, right. nice shine. Oh, Ooh, I wonder fast if fall. yeah, I wonder if the fast fall would have gotten the kill. Probably, it looked like it for sure, but who knows? oh my god, this combo! Ooh, back to the future percent face uh, roll, death percent. Jesus. Wow. So game one, dare, ledge cancel, up air, double jump, dare. Wow. Let's go. Let's go, Griffin. Uh, it's game two of the reset. Yeah, yeah. All right, so take it to FD. Pretty much the same sort of sequence we're having from the first set. Yeah, the only difference being that uh, this time Squid had to go to FD a lot earlier. Right. Yeah. Um, Squid definitely. I, I I think it's pretty clear that this is the best stage for Squid in this matchup. Yeah. Uh, you know, Sheiks in general really like platform movement. My favorite example is Plup. I mean, he looks so freaking yeah. fast on platforms. But uh, yeah, all all Sheiks are really big on that. Um, so because they don't have a super short short hop, their short hop's pretty high. Uh, having that extra ability to move quickly in a small yeah. amount of vertical space mm -hmm. uh, is really, really valuable to them. Squid Ooh. able to take the first stock. He gets a down smash and a point where uh, Face Roll wasn't expecting to get hit. He didn't go for the up B, so he thought he had more options, but Squid's able to hit him before um, he gets punished. Yeah, the uh, Oh, Squid with wow. that really dangerous dash dance for the pace off for him. Unfortunately, he's not able to find the combo, and he gets back aired. That's going to be the stock. Oh. Whew. I was I believed for like a quick second right there. I was like maybe never believe in Falco's recovery. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I, to this day, dude, there's still a glimmer of hope. My little young naive bird feathers are still like I can do it. And then you just fall flat on your face. It's never a good feeling. Uh, you can see here, face roll not wanting to full hop over the lasers unless Squid's really far away because he doesn't want to give Squid the opportunity to get under him. Um, so instead, he chooses to play needle versus lasers and try to get those trades in his favor. Facial seems to be kind of oh, there he gets the opposite. That was a, an attempt for sure. <laughs> that was a forward smash charge for zero reason. Ooh, Squid able to find his way back, but he's not able to make that movement Ooh. work out in his favor. He makes it back on stage. Oh man, this is so tense. Neither person has gotten a good hit on the other in a good little while. Facial at really high percents can die to a lot of different things. Yeah, down tilt. Yep. Yeah, good call. That's a that's a clean, clean. <laughs> Sorry, I thought of a joke. That's a clean option right there. Shout out to Homemade Waffles for introducing me to that. Just making me aware that down tilt's a pretty free option on most floaties. Yeah. After about a sure. hundred, it's gonna kill most of them. Yeah. One of the challenges with Sheik uh, for the down tilt is because she's trying to arms attack there anyway. Um, she's gonna be holding down and she's gonna get the, the crouch cancel or the ASDI mm -hmm. to slow down the. Uh, the knockback. The knockback, and so yeah. you get, uh, she, she gets kind of like really good uh, up tilt DI for free. This time Griffin reads that uh, face, uh, that Squid's been uh, shine stalling for a really long time, and he just goes down with an air and is able to take the stock. Yeah, Squid was uh, mixing up that timing and that, that length of that stall the first few games, especially in that last set, but mm -hmm. it seems like he's kind of fallen into a bit of a rhythm with those now. Yeah, I think it, it's tough because, you know, he punished Face Roll with it at, like two or three times in a row with a long shine stall. So you just, it works. You want to do it, right? Do it yeah. Again, you know, and you just have to recognize. It, it's. I think that's one of the really tricky things about Melee is not only do you have to recognize when you have a read, you have to recognize when they realize that you have a read, mm -hmm. and then you have to recognize when they realize that you realize the, you know, the layers, man. <laughs> it's like an onion. <laughs> Squid, uh, I think, doing a really good job this game of mixing up between when he's going for the hard approaches versus when he's uh, sitting back and lasering, waiting for uh, face holder approach. There again, you saw he, he dash dances outside of face rolls uh, approaching short hop aerial. Um, that can be like really tricky to deal. Oh, he goes wow. in there and he gets it. Man, that I thought wasn't for even sure. A yeah, I know. I thought for sure uh, face roll was gonna throw out that back air and get the gimp again, but no, Squid quick enough on the draw to jump, double jump down air and get the stock to end the game. So we go to Dreamland. Face roll was able to take the game on this stage last uh, set. Yeah. Let's see if he can find the same magic this time around. Uh, give himself a 2-1 lead and the stage pick advantage. So we're kind of following that, like I said, the same path to Sam's uh, FOD. All right, FOD. And sort of flip counter pick order as well. Right. So Dreamland, like I said, worked out for Griffin last time. Let's see if Squid can make any adjustments to make that a different case. Change the, change the bracket a little bit. He gets the uh, face roll, or Squid uses the face roll on face roll by crouching during the getup attack. 
and then dash forward grabbing. Oh, man. There's a meaty move, but not that meaty. This time around, so uh, what Face Roll was reading there is that same Shine Stall. This time, Squid chooses not to Shine Stall, instead drops a little bit further before mm -hmm. responding, and that's why the Nair doesn't hit him. So a really good change in his mix-up from Squid. So yeah. he looks like he's doing the same thing, but then he changes one small part of it so that uh, what Face Roll's, res uh, so that Face Roll's response doesn't work. Oh, that, that was Woo! so risky. That was so risky. Oh, my God. Oh, and that's how really stuck. So uh, one of the things that Sheik has in her arsenal that I I haven't seen Face Roll choosing to use a lot today is uh, uh, Sheik can do an auto cancel aerial into uh, an F tilt like right away and it's like super super hard to punish and or like a jab and it's it, you know I think usually it's basically guaranteed um, like it, it's a shield link or whatever <laughs> where you can't you just can't do anything out of it. Um, like I believe the term is like a blockchain. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and so I think in, in this scenario, you know, uh, Squid is getting to use a move or, or getting to jump out right after the uh, aerial from Face Roll. And I think that could be one way that Face Roll could kind of punish that option. Mm -hmm. Nice snare. Squid's not able to get anything started, but he d gets the reverse down air. <sighs> this, wow. He's tacked on a lot of percent. Yeah, that was and a great option there at the end to run away. So I think one of the things that Squid's really changed since their winner's final set is uh, in the winner's final set, he was really, really pushing to, to force those combos. In this set, he gets his 60, 70%. It's still a really impressive combo, but then he backs up and uses the advantageous position. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I've, I've really liked his choice there to kind of accept that he's not going to get the kill right away. The down air again, or the down tilt, down tilt again, yeah. works every time, and it's not offset technical. Yeah, it's uh, especially on that recovery. That's like a free opportunity to use it. Mm -hmm. um, but continue. Yeah. So, so yeah, I, I really think that you know by choosing to say, okay, listen, I'm going to kill face roll in two combos, not one. He's actually uh, closed up that opening for counter attack that face roll had been using really effectively yeah. earlier. So I really like that option from Squid. I know he's very big on like optimizing the punish game and pushing yeah. it as hard as you can. Um, but I do think there's a balance there, and I think he's showing it right now. For sure, for sure. Um, you know, he's, he's definitely making these these slight adjustments that are giving him the edge, like that we pointed out. You know, like the the stall adjustment, the mm -hmm. the the you know the option to continue the the combo uh, right. adjustment. You know, things like that. It's very. Um, Shows a lot of maturity, a lot of veterancy for sure in his, in his game. Right, and the other one that you mentioned earlier is is the options off a laser. Yeah. He, early yeah. on, he was only using the laser. Oh, and he gets it again. That's wow. twice in a row. Griffin, Griffin. Yeah. with the angry smile. That's it's not caught. a happy smile. No. That's an angry smile. That's, a, that's an Irvine sad smile. Um, but, uh, yeah, yeah, thank you for bringing that up. That's a very yeah. good point. Uh, uh, so I, I think Squid really finding a lot of footing by making those little adjustments. And let's see if face roll has an answer to it. Uh, so now, last set, uh, we did see uh, Squid be able to take this game on mm. FOD, uh, but he did still have counterpick advantage at that time, so True. there's a little bit more pressure here, and since he's already used FD, his best option for a stage is gone. Yeah. So there's a little bit more pressure here, and uh, Face was able to take a first stock to just increase that a little more. Uh, <laughs> oh, he quick. goes for the dare. Yeah. Face roll misses the tech and Squid jumps on it with an mm. F smash in order to even things up. He gets directly under him. Those FOD platforms really tricky for Sheik sometimes. And he's able to find a shine, but he doesn't follow up and we get that counter attack. Just a bit of misfacing from face roll there for let Squid avoid that down smash and now, but he still finds the grab. Still gonna continue this check. Wow. Nice down smash. Okay. I like it. I like it. Alright. I, I I thought for sure he would have opted for the jab just in, in true Griffin fashion, but no. Squid is extremely consistent True. with the SDI. True. Um, so I think Face will kind of, uh, you know, the, the knowledge, the yeah. respect, uh, chooses not to go for that. That's the down smash also very good though, right? Yeah, no, I, I, yeah, it's yeah. definitely given position as well. Kind of set up the same tech chase again. Uh, yeah. Sort of oh, I think these guys, sequences man. right here, yeah. where you have neither player hitting each other for like an extended period of time, actually work in Squid's favor because a lot of what Face Roll is getting off of Squid is counter attacks. Right, he's getting the shield grab. He's getting the like funky. You hit me, but it wasn't quite a combo. Right, now right. I can like, hit you. I'm gonna like capitalize off your like missed yeah. strong hit. That was a weak. Hit, right, you know, I, I know what you're saying. Yeah. Exactly. So I think those like full neutral situations where they're playing back and forth and Squid's not giving face rolling openings are uh, a big deal for Squid. That time he catches the needles that were on the platform. Griffin set a trap. <laughs> he just like he and literally left it. Got stuck in the air, PM, spinning. A brawl snake. You just didn't know it. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh, Squid reads the roll in. What he reads the roll away. Oh. He gets a soft backer instead of a hard backer. That would have been the kill. 
Squid decides to give face roll the ledge. Uh, opts to take center stage. Nice double jump option there. Looked like he was going to shoot another laser and just came from the top. And again, that down, down tilt barely kills. Um, we've talked earlier about how Squid really likes to try to get directly under face roll when face roll is using needles. So I thought it was a really interesting mix up there to try to go over the needles, and it ended up working out in Squid's favor. Ooh, Squid does the shine stall there again. Griffin, I think that might be the one biggest thing that has given Squid the advantage in the set right now. So Griffin needs an answer to that if he's going to pull this out. Yeah, Squid gets a shine. Oh, this might actually be a Squid is looking to close out this set and he this tournament. He gets grab off the back, off, off the down smash. I can't believe it. Oh, oh, the wow. platform moves down as he was he's trying still, to finish that combo. He's still he's going, able to though. Catch it. Oh, misses the up air. Oh, and then he misses the wave dash off the platform. He's putting himself in a tricky position, but he's able to clean it back up. He gets the nair. Off stage. Oh, Griffin oh, with the opportunity. No. Oh, my God. So Squid didn't think that the first part of the up would give him enough distance to grab the ledge. So Squid was just trying to drop down and regain invincibility. Um, unfortunately, Griffin did grab the edge That's and take it. it. But Squid's able to find the up, up air wow. and he's able to take the set. So good stuff to these guys, man. Uh, congrats to Squid. Way to go, Squid. He takes it from Wait, loser side. they're still sitting down. No, they're done. Okay. Never uh, mind. Let's I thought see. for like the longest we had to... Yeah. Let's see if Squid I'll wants to do a, a quick Are we uh, doing interview. It? Yeah, yeah, I'll let you do it. Okay, cool. Uh, Squid. Thank you guys for watching, by the way. Really quick, I'll just sign out. Um, I'm Vic Raman. You'll see more of us on the Arcadian on Sunday. Definitely check that out. So we'll um, see you guys there. Uh, also, uh, the last Coliseum this Saturday. Yes. If you can make it out, uh, Dave, uh, Kira, Kira Kim, a uh, great member of the community. He's finally moving out, going to NorCal for uh, other reasons. And Doing it's his things. last big TO event. So if you have a chance to make it out or if you can watch uh, alongside, uh, give him a shout out. Uh, he's been really great to us here. So yeah. uh, come thanks, say, Kira. Come say bye to uh, Kira. I was about to say Squid. But thank you guys for watching. I'm Vic Raman. Follow me on Twitter at Vic underscore Raman. I'll see you guys at Power9. Peace. Talk to you later.